We are back for part four. All right. You might be wondering why am I playing on the pizza box? Well, I just want to show you the other things that you could play with drums. I, I was using these paint brushes as brushes, of course, you know, like ordinary brushes. And maybe I should show you the actual, the real drum brushes. Hold on. I got them right here. These are the ordinary brushes that you receive with the drum set. They, they actually come out like this and then you can work. it makes a nice scraping sound and it's, it's very often used in like if you want to play drums softer and also brushes are often utilized in jazz percussion so yeah so yeah the pizza box was the the more interesting aspect of having a new sound introduced so you can hear all the scraping sound you just kind of scrape side to side Yes, of course, I did say this is a bucket drumming series, but I just want you all to be creative with different sounds. And it doesn't even have to be buckets. It could be pans. And, you know, you could just use them as long as your parents don't know about it. For today's lesson of part four, we're going to take a look at the beats we did in part two. And we did, we had, I showed you three basic drum beats. But I want to show you ways you could combine them. You could actually have one measure could could be beat two, and the next measure could be beat three. And I will give you some examples. So without further ado, let's get to the lesson. <laughs> We're all set for lesson four. Now I did say I, would, I was going to show you longer drum beat phrases, but I'm, I'm also going to be showing you some fills that you can perform after those drum beats. There will be like a three bar segment of the beat you're playing, and then a one bar segment of you doing the fill. A fill is something that is not necessarily, you know, written out. You could actually just improvise and play whatever you want as long as you get back to beat one. It's one of those fillers, like maybe in a song there's nothing happening in the song and you could just fill that gap. And that's what a fill is called. That's why it's called a fill. I introduced some, a couple of pots and pans. Shh, don't tell your parents, okay? So let's give you a demonstration of what each head sounds like. I have five different things. I have the hi-hat here, which is the trash can lid. Uh, the metal bucket as the snare. And then uh, the bass drum over here is the plastic bucket. Um, and now the two new things, these are the toms. Um, maybe I should go the other way. I usually like to have the higher pitch stuff on this side. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to lesson two where I showed you those three drum beats. Let's combine beat one and two. Now, I will give you a refresher. There's beat one is one, That's it, it just keeps repeating that. It just doesn't sound as interesting if you just keep that beat going because it's so repetitive and you just, you might make people fall asleep hearing that same phrase over and over again. All right, now let's take a look at beat number two. Right? Now let's combine those two. Let's have the first measure be beat one and the second measure be beat two. You know, you still hear that same kick, the, the bass drum, excuse me, bass drum on beat three, you still hear that same placement of the bass drum, but let's, let's change it a bit more. Let's do beat two um, and then beat three. Now this is the one where the bass drum doesn't hit on count of three. That's beat three. Now let's combine it with beat two and beat three. You can 
do whatever you want with your drum beats. You can mix them up in different order. You can have beat three to be on the first measure and the second measure be beat one or two. Whatever. Just get creative with it. Now, since I like that combination better, I will demonstrate doing fills while we use that phrasing. So the fill is going to happen on the fourth bar. So we're not going to be playing beat three on that fourth bar. It's going to be a fill instead. So let's do that. And you'll feel comfortable playing that measure. Just the fill measure it alone. Practice the fill first before you actually play among the drum beats. Okay, that was one exercise, and I just want to leave the rest up to you uh, to create your own drum beats. And just mix up the beat one, two, or three, or even create a completely different beat at the bass drum in a completely different place. You might be getting to the point of improvising, which is something I will be covering next week. You ready for it? <laughs> well, anyway, so. I will let you practice different drum beats, get creative on your own time, and and you do not have to always practice with the metronome. It's also really good to practice without the metronome. You need to be able to keep time for yourself. But the metronome helps you get the reference of timing. It helps you play more evenly. You need to hear it over and over again. And I would recommend listening to Mute other music. Listen to songs. They, they give you a pulse as well. So you can just listen to songs and use them as metronomes too. So anyway, just get creative on your own time and uh, just play these beats in different pulses. And I will cover more complicated drum beats next week. Uh, well, I wouldn't say complicated. I'll just say advanced drum beats for your level. Um, and I have confidence that you will be able to figure out as we go through this journey of bucket drumming. Well, that's it for today. And if you found the video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and or comment below. By the way, if you find the tips rather unclear, then feel free to ask questions about it. And I will gladly review your comments for next week. So take care. And I hope you have a great day. And remember, don't forget to eat your greens. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot to mention this. Uh, but I want to say that it's best not to use wooden utensils. Do you see these things? Uh, I have broken one of them in my previous videos where I was playing on uh, pots and pans. Yeah, well, of course, when my parents are not around. So, yeah. But that's all I want to say. It's a warning. Bye. Take care.